Allen family says they are over the moon after their son and brother was found alive. He had been missing since 2019. Eric Viano joins us live in studio with more. Eric. Hi, Adam. 43-year-old Michael Samdas had been missing for nearly four years. He was located in the United States yesterday thanks to a tip from a volunteer search group. I spoke with his family today and they say although there are a lot of unanswered questions, they're just thankful to know he's alive. He is the life of the party. He is full of energy. He's the most amazing uncle. And when they, when the word uncle is the definition of Michael. Leah Gerard, Wandita Joda, and Indra Samdas looked through pictures of Michael today, remembering a brother, son, uncle, and friend that they haven't seen in nearly four years. Great hair. He had great hair and sense of style. He could wear anything and make it look good. Pink suit, purple suit. In a previous interview with CHCH News, Michael's family says he became withdrawn and isolated before he vanished from his parents' home in Stony Creek on September 3rd of 2019. Which isn't like him. He doesn't go very long without communicating with at least one of us. His family says they heard he was arrested the next day and held overnight by Toronto police following an alleged altercation. He was last seen on September 5th at College and Young Streets. And then what followed for the Samdas family was nearly four years of wondering. I never think he was dead. There were rumors that he is dead, and I went down on my knees every day. And I trust God and pray that every step of the way, God would lead Michael, and he would end up coming home, or somebody would find him. And somebody did find Michael. Hamilton police say he was located in the United States yesterday, thanks to a tip from the not-for-profit group, Please Bring Me Home which specializes in finding missing people. Welcome news for a mother who was worried sick. So, so happy and I'm so thankful to God and everyone that is involved in this. I'm so happy. It's the best news in my life I ever got. When I heard we found him, he's alive. And while the family is thrilled to hear that Michael is alive, they say they haven't spoken to him yet. It's going to take time. It's going to take a process and there's a lot involved that, and we don't even have answers yet. So we're just taking it day by day, second by second, minute by minute. I spoke with a private investigator from the Please Bring Me Home organization who could not appear on camera, but says they discovered Michael's whereabouts after they found a photo of someone that looked like him through a social media scan. The organization's fac facial recognition system deemed the photo a match. And from there, Hamilton and Toronto police sent fingerprints to an American police service to confirm his identity. The family says they are now focused on bringing Michael Samdas home. Back to you.